Hey guys, Greg Lynch, Durham PA here, Mr. Pops It. Just have a quick follow-up. I know you guys like follow-ups. I posted a video this week um, with the hydrogenitis abscess, the one chest, one cup video. Extremely large abscess over the uh, sternum area. And she came back uh, seven days later, about 75% reduced. The inflammation has gone way down. There's a little fluid pocket that we're gonna give her another week or two to watch. It still may absorb um, on the antibiotic. We'll let the antibiotic do its work. Um, if it doesn't or it starts getting bigger, sometimes we do a second IND there. And this is not an inflamed cyst, so we don't go in there and break up loculations. Literally, these are sinus tracts and little pockets that with pressure, it's a lot of fluid that's in there, not cyst wall. So that little bit of pressure usually drains it out and then sometimes they'll absorb the rest when they're on an antibiotic settling down the inflammation. So we're gonna watch her going forward, kind of watch her closely. And there's a lot of different protocols for hydronitis superativa that obviously if you look up, you can see. Um, it's kind of a treatment algorithm that goes up and we take it to the next level if they're failing the previous level. So there's a lot of steps in these types of treatment. It's a very difficult condition and can usually be a lifelong inflammatory condition. So it's not easy, but seeing the right people, doing the right things and, and testing different treatment protocols, we should be able to get her mostly stable and a lot more comfortable. So I hope you enjoyed the video and she's doing a lot better. It's very happy and she says thanks for the concern. <laughs> Okay guys, this is a follow up on the hydrogenitis abscess that you can see here that was all the way up here. We're talking about 75%, 80% improvement. And it's common, it's only been seven days. So it's a seven day follow up. The redness is reduced. She does have some chronic scar tissue in here. There's still a little fluid pocket in there, not much, but we're not gonna poke that today. We're gonna let her heal, let the antibiotic do its work. It should regress, you can see that inflammation is almost all gone, the redness is. But now with hydronitis, we have these chronic sinus tracts in here. So we're gonna put her on some treatment protocols and see how much reduction we get and how controlled we can keep it. And this is a chronic inflammatory condition. So sometimes we do need to drain this again. And if it keeps regressing and goes away, we're gonna recheck in a couple of weeks. If it gets bigger, we may have to do one more procedure, but usually we can get them to go down all the way. So I uh, appreciate her sharing her story. This is a, a really good case. And this is the outcome that we were looking for. After a week of antibiotics, this is um, par for the course. We should have about 70 to 80% reduction and that's right where we're at. Okay, thanks for watching.